In this specific video, you're going to learn how to create navigation menus and sort them. So what you need to do now is to go to your internet browser and log into your WordPress dashboard. Go to appearance and click on menus. So first things first, your menu is going to need to have a name. Normally I just name mine navigation. Click on create menu. And there we go. Now what we need to do is simply drag and drop the pages into the navigation menu. So currently we don't have any pages, so I'm going to go ahead and create some pages. So if I go to pages and click on add new, I'm going to open this up in a brand new tab. And I'm just going to pause this video and create some pages. Okay, so I went ahead and created a bunch of pages and if I go back to the menus here and I refresh the page, most of you are already going to have pages and you won't have to worry about that. But in this example, as you can see, I created a bunch of pages that relates to kind of a classroom setting. So what I'm going to do is simply click on select all. Click on add to menu and it'll automatically add it to the menu that you have selected. So if you have other menus, you'll want to make sure that it is selected first. Now in terms of sorting, anything at the top, you're going to see at the very top or the left hand corner. It starts from the left hand side and it moves to the right hand side. So if I'm looking at the live site here, if I go to visit site and view the live site, as you can see, since the menu is already created, it actually shows up here. So anything at the top will be on the left hand side. Anything at the right hand side will be at the bottom. So. Now the cool thing about menus is you can actually put certain pages under other pages. So for example, online tests, I created a test A and a test B so that I could show you this as an example. Now, as you can see, you can drag and drop, but you can also move it to the right hand side. And if I move it to the right hand side, this basically is telling WordPress that Online test is the parent navigation menu here or page. And then the child page is test A and test B. You can also move it over again if you want the test A to be the parent of test B. But if I click on this save menu and I refresh the page here, Another thing you need to make sure that you do under theme locations is to choose that specific menu. Now certain themes are different. They can have different menus like several menus. So you could choose different menus and put them under here. But menu number one is going to be the navigation menu. So click on save. And if I go back to live site here, You can see now that it's about us online tests. We've got the two child pages underneath the online tests and the contact us page. So just to recap, you've got the pages, select the pages you want, add it to the menu, reorganize it and sort it to the way you want it to be. Click on save menu and make sure that it's chosen under the theme locations. Now, one cool thing is you can also create custom links. So let's say, for example, that I, let's see, software, software tests. I could actually link it to a specific URL. So let's say I want to go to google.com, click on add to menu, and I'm going to put this here. 
click on the save menu and refresh the page here. And if I click on software tests, it'll actually go to that link. So these are actually made up of both pages and custom links. And you can also add categories as well. If you ever want to change the name of this specific menu item, you can select the drop down menu here and simply change the navigation label. Let's say we want to say about the team. Click on save menu and if we go back to the live site and refresh it, it has changed from about us to about the team. And another thing is if you want your brand new pages to be added to your navigation menu, if you select this option here, every time you create a brand new page, it'll add the page to this navigation menu. But if I were you, I would basically have it set like this, but I would reorganize it to the way that I want it to organize. And of course, last, when you're done, click on Save Menu, and that's it.